Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. An East Kentucky network company. Data speed slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. Three times over the past week, officials here at Letcher County Central High School have dealt with threats or potential threats against the school. Now officials are hoping to let everyone know that there are serious consequences that come with making those threats. On Wednesday, a 14-year-old student was arrested at Letcher County Central High School after allegedly becoming angry and threatening to carry out a shooting at the school. The student was there and was talking with other students and uh, was concerned about his midterm grade and made a statement that if he got a bad grade that uh, he was going to shoot the school up. And uh, a little girl heard that and became alarmed and, and notified the officials and come down to the office and later the child said he was joking and uh, you know that's just not something that you can joke about. The incident was the third in four school days in Letcher County. Letcher Central was closed Friday and again Tuesday due to perceived threats against the school. One did result in the arrest of a nine-year-old student. With this latest incident, school and law enforcement officials have had enough. This is my second time being interviewed this week and uh, being interviewed is getting old. I mean, this is a serious issue. And what these children's got to understand is if you're threatening to kill people, bring weapons to school, if you're doing those things, you're going to be charged with a crime. Letcher County Sheriff's Deputy Burt Sloan, who is also the Letcher Central School Resource Officer, praised the students who came forward with information about Wednesday's incident. The witness or witnesses that hear the information, it's really, really important for the investigation that they come forward without discussing it with others because it will change the information that you've got. The student arrested Wednesday was charged with terroristic threatening in the second degree and was taken to the juvenile detention center in Breathitt County. Sloan said all threats or perceived threats are taken seriously and investigated thoroughly. Anyone making threats, he said, will be prosecuted. It is a class D felony to threaten to kill another person at school. There's freedom of speech and it's very clear. There's a lot of things you can say. But when you're making threats, that's not freedom of speech. You can't threaten people and you definitely cannot do it at school. At Letcher County Central High School, Chris Anderson, EKB News.